an early spring morning on a lake in northern Wisconsin. Two loons quietly interact. I'm Charlie Walcott. I'm a professor in the Department of Neurobiology and Behavior, and I've been studying loons. Loons are highly specialized animals. Uh, they are uh, designed uh, to catch fish, and they have, therefore, this extraordinary ability to swim underwater, and all their adaptations are really a consequence of that uh, ability. That is, a loon is uh, really quite a large animal. They're about 10 pounds or so. Uh, they have feet at the rear end uh, so that they swim uh, remarkably well underwater. And they're very dense and very heavy. And that makes a real problem uh, flying. As you can see, a loon needs quite a substantial amount of runway uh, to become airborne. Loons breed in the fresh water on lakes and ponds and so on. In our study area near Rhinelander, Wisconsin, many of the lakes have a single pair of loons. Some of the really big lakes have several pairs. And these loons then migrate uh, to spend the uh, winter on salt water. And our loons uh, in, from the Rhinelander area fly down to Florida. Loons from Maine simply fly out to the coast. The Maine loons I think, are very much heavier. They're almost a 1,000 grams heavier uh, than our Wisconsin loons. And I suspect that represents something uh, to do uh, with the length of this migration. The work I'm going to tell you about loons has depended on a great many different people. My colleague, Walter Piper, has been leading the project. Loons are long-lived organisms. Um, we, now that we've started to mark a large number of them, we're realizing, somewhat to our chagrin, how long-lived they are, just hoping to outlive some of our, <laughs> my study animals. But uh, loons um, defend territories on small lakes or parts of large lakes as monogamous pairs. A male and female will settle on a territory and, uh, and try to raise chicks there. They'll nest in a, an area that um, uh, often a boggy area, often on an island, an area that's relatively safe from mammalian predators. They will uh, produce either one or two chicks. A big year for a loon is to produce two chicks. They will uh, raise those chicks for nine or ten weeks or so. It's quite an onerous business. chicks fledge, reach about 10 or 11 weeks, uh, they will uh, uh, hang around in the, on their natal lake or nearby and then migrate. This is a migratory species and, and they spend the, the summer on um, when they've reached the age at least of three or four years old on freshwater lakes and uh, they will spend the winter, most of them spend the winter in salt water. Here on North Haven, Maine, the entrance to the harbor is marked by pulpit rock, complete with osprey nest on the top. Just outside the pulpit, there are looms. These looms were very skittish and hard to get close to. They still had their black and white breeding plumage. Our population, uh, we know from satellite uh, studies done by others, that, that our population chiefly winters along both coasts of Florida, the, 
the Gulf Coast and the Atlantic Coast. Some birds off, are found off the Carolinas from our population. So they're migratory, they defend territories, um, they're monogamous, uh, and um, as we've learned, they do, get, they do get booted off of territories, but otherwise they're quite faithful to, to their breeding territories and will return to those territories year after year.